Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is a beginner's guide for semi truck by Tamiya. I'll be using all Tamiya products. What else do you need? First, you need the base kit. The base kit is a single axle. Price range about 350. If you need a dual axle, it's about 400 to 450. Below will be the price for your reference. Next will be the radio and receiver. The radio I'm using is the Flysky i6s and you can use an i6x2. You need a radio with have a dual rate in order to operate the MFC. Next is the receiver. You need two identical receiver that you can clone for the truck and for the trailer for wireless system next will be the servo the servo get an average servo that's efficient make sure it can handle the load next is going to be the esc lights and sound module i am using right now is the mfc 03 it's more a euro sound style diesel and if you prefer the american you need to use the mfc 01 Number five will be the support light and the main trailer. I'm using a three axle trailer and also the additional motorized support light. Number six will be paint. Um, most of the kit for Tamiya requires to be painted first before you can continue building the next step. Number seven will be ball bearing and motor ball bearings to make it as more smooth in, the, in terms of the transmission a, uh, a crawler motor like 55 to 80 turn to give you more realistic movement of your semi truck at the beginning of the build you need to paint the compressor really depends on the, the truck you have and select the right servo the one I'm have I have is a little bit okay but it consumes a lot of amperage next you're gonna be looking closely at the instruction of building the three speed transmission before you try to enclose it on its enclosure try to test if it. it's working okay it's smoothly without any binding next gonna be installing the sound module lights and ESC originally the Tamiya instruction doesn't allow you to install the interior anymore but you have to do something like for me I put this the vibration unit way at the back of the cab and I, I did a place a false wall at the back Tamiya recommend that you install the speaker this way but I decided to flip it like in this photo over here can put styrene just to close off the whole area and that's going to be the back part of the magnet of the speaker it's kind of messy right now um the the unit itself they have they they're using all the same plugins um for me i think they should have given you a warning because some of this port has different voltage some are rated 8 volts some are rated 2 volts with load okay if you try to measure it without an led installed it's gonna shoot up a bit like this one it's about 5 volts but once with the load this is about twin uh, i think it's gonna be around 2 volts and there's also around i think 6 or 5.9 and then eight so they need to give you a warning even though you try to mix match the accidentally you might burn out the led faster but i'm not 100 percent sure but it's kind of like that mfc uh, system by tamiya requires that your radio has this function the dual rate normal settings about 100 percent and your second setting you can set it to 60 by flipping that switch it will detect that you're commanding a different function i'll share the tutorial 
of how to calibrate and how to uh, set it up so it's going to be easier for you to understand okay i'm um, testing the voltage per uh, terminal of the mfc some of the connectors are connected to parallel connect some are connected series most of the series are the brake light the main light and the the high lamp the j14 for example has a, also a high voltage output in my case i added resistor for that terminal and you and just to make sure that all nine led i use doesn't burn out if you're using the mfc make sure that you try to understand voltage output per led it doesn't give you general specs of what it's capable of but they say the mfc detects identical e value so it can handle automatically a lot of trial and error try to fit in the mfc the, the modules everything and the lights on the brake lights are smaller so you have to put fabricate a adapter for it adding more lights using the j14 that's a spare area with nine leds individually wired with resistors parallel connected demotorized support leg is required because the all kit and mfc comes with the fifth wheel adapter servo mount for the fifth wheel is kind of challenging if you have the wrong size servo the kit comes with the fifth wheel the mfc comes with the fifth wheel the motorized leg comes with the fifth wheel but both kit and uh, mfc fifth wheel are useless for the motorized adapter uh, support leg crank sit very low it's gonna scratch the outer fender of the truck while turning adding spacer on the fifth wheel and um, adding more rubber pads on the motorized leg there's a lot of cheap accessories online like this one it's kind of oversized but it costs around five dollars and i need to improve the sound quality by adding vents or changing with a speaker cloth this one's also an another accessories that costs around maybe like five dollars it's a metal material you can buy this cheap uh, metal wheels online price about twenty dollars for a pair the front requires some optional bushing or four bearings price range is twenty dollars for a pair I'm using a um, like it's a servo switch for LEDs for the fifth channel. This have the function of on, then off, then on on B. That's going to be the siren, and then on off again, and then on for both the pilot light at the back front and the siren. The trailer has its own um, fifth channel switch light switch LED. The only issue I have for the main truck is if I use the steering wheel, I mean when I steer, sometimes the fifth channel switch automatically turns off. The servo I'm using drains a lot of power so it fluctuates. There's also a switch for the fifth channel that has its independent power supply but I didn't order it yet. I'm gonna just share it so you know what it looks like.
unfortunately some of the save archive of the video of the interior the false wall it's all gone after the windows latest update i don't have the truck anymore this project intended to be a gift to my brother he has it he has this truck now it's a challenging build this is not the finest instruction that tamia has given to us uh, in here is basically the false wall it's made of styrene inside where i put all the wires for the mfc it's kind of cramped up but there's space good enough space for it and also the vibration module is also right beside it the build itself is it's bittersweet it's in terms of the finished product is awesome it's nice it's kind of unique but the instruction and how you go around with the manual because some of the the item like the MFC is designed for several vehicles that they incorporate some parts. Instruction are very confusing. Illustration sometimes doesn't match the product. There's days that you really hate the product so much, but in the end of the day, you want to finish it immediately but sometimes you have to finish that you need to paint this it's your it's like you're going back and forth okay so the receiver controls the lights for the trailer the power source is by basically using the motorized legs and uh, there's basically a cheap light set it's a uh, bootleg of a tamiya led kit I'm about to start um, assembling the container. It's not that interesting because of how much you need to paint it first before you can start building it. Overall, the model kit is amazing if you, in terms of you looking at the detail, what it can do. If I were given a chance, I'll probably redo some of the lights, add more lights to truck. That's the ones making it more interesting and a good thing uh, right now there's a model the 770 the scania the price range i think it's about 400 something or less than 400 at rc mart i think that's a great deal it has more options in terms of detail more lights you can add the bottom line is you need to think about the budget you're gonna be putting on this truck this truck almost costs $1,500 already and then there's a ton of accessories and detail that you can put on this project it really depends on you so guys thank you guys for watching and hope this video is a uh, helpful tip if you decided to go with this type of project have a good day